It's way too early here in the cabin. Um, our dog Nala is uh, very much a morning person, or <laughs> a morning dog, I should say. But today I'm going to take you with me on our daily routines here in the cabin. Everything from cooking to what we eat here in the cabin, cutting down trees and preparing for next winter, and how we do our laundry without running water. I'm also gonna talk about the podcast interview I did with none other than Lena Henningsen. Before all that, I need to ask a favor of you. Down here is a like button. I need you to hit that because that tells YouTube this is a video worth watching and they will spread it out to more people. So if you want to support me and this channel, you hit the like button down here. It's completely free and I will highly appreciate it. Now let's continue with our day. We start our day the exact same way every morning and that is by trying to get warm because right now inside it's about 13 degrees celsius so we need to make a fire to start with What are we having for breakfast? We have a uh, Christine special grill. Actually, <laughs> a Danish brand. <laughs> I do want to know. <laughs> we have. Um, <laughs> So why are we eating this kind of porridge in the morning? Because I think we both feel that when you live in such a cold climate, you need something to ground you, like give you some ground and warm you up in the morning. And it's just really cozy. Don't you think so? Yeah, like I really think so. Porridge.
as most of you know, we use a lot of firewood here just to keep warm. We use a lot of wood and to cook like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, we use firewood as well. And as you can see me, behind me here, this is our woodshed. And this is the first compartment, which is almost empty now. And hang on, rotate a bit. And that's the second one, which is completely empty. Uh, so my work daily now almost is to cut down trees and chop them up and then stack them. And I've started with some trees here in the forest because some of them have actually fallen by themselves. There have been high winds and a lot of snow on the branches, so they have fallen by themselves. So I've started with those trees, but I've also left some of them because they're, they're quite important to the wildlife here. Because a dead tree brings meaning as well, because that attracts insects and bugs, and those insects and bugs attract birds. It's just a whole cycle. Uh, so we'll leave some of them there out there to do their thing and we'll cut down some of them and then cut down some fresh ones as well. But as you can see, we need quite a lot. Uh, but I've already cut down one tree here. <laughs> I feel like, a, like, like an old uh, cooking show, you know, like oh, I've already prepared the dish here. Um, but I've, yeah, I've, I cut it down and I chopped it up and now I'm gonna stack it. But I'm gonna film that part from the other side of woodshed. Otherwise, you're gonna stare at my ass for like 30 seconds, and we don't want that. So one whole tree became half of a row, or half a stack, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just checked, there's six rows in this uh, compartment of the woodshed. And that will mean 12 trees that I need to cut down in this compartment and then 12 trees in the other compartment, which is 24 trees in total. That's a lot of trees. Okay, I'm not gonna show you all 24 trees today, um, but I need to go out with our dogs. They are severe huskies and they need a lot of exercise and I can hear them from inside the cabin and yeah. I'm just gonna take them for a walk. Having Siberian Huskies in your life is an experience, to say the least. But that was also a very active choice of mine, living with Huskies, because living with Huskies means that your lifestyle is going to be very active. Uh, and that's not a bad thing, but you have to be ready for a bit of discomfort as well. And I talked about that in my previous video, and that was also the first video of my new series, Cabin Conversations. And if you haven't seen it, I will leave it up here so you can watch it. But yeah, by the way, thank you so much for the response on that video. I was just blown away by all, our, all of your response and lovely comments. Um, I was very nervous on uploading that because it was such a new topic to me. But, whew, like that was emotional reading your stories uh, in all your comments. All, a lot of you felt the same way uh, and that made me really happy. And thank you for sharing that with me. Uh, and if you haven't seen the video, again, I will leave it up there. But going a bit back to what I said in that video, I actively chose Huskies because I wanted a more active lifestyle. They literally drag me out of the cabin because they need a lot of exercise. Um, so I need to go for walks, hikes, go for long runs with them, which I enjoy deep down. But my monkey brain just said that I should lay on the couch and rest. But by seeking discomfort and choosing huskies, so to speak, I live the life I want to. I want to be out here in nature. I just have to drag myself out there or actually get huskies that will drag me out into nature. And that's what I want to give to you as well. Like, put yourself in a scenario like that if you want to change your life in some way. Choose a bit of discomfort. It's not that bad.
just one more thing before we head back to the cabin. I've set up a goal for me and this channel to reach 100,000 subscribers before my next birthday. And that is only one month away and we're at 94,000 now. So we're getting really close, but I need your help to get there. So if you want to give me an early birthday present, hit subscribe and I will be eternally thankful. Christina just left the cabin to visit a friend of ours and she's actually going to be away for two whole days and that might not, might not sound like a lot but the reality is that we spend 24 hours a day together and when she's away two days that's quite a lot for me at least and I just realized that this is the first time I'm going to be completely alone in the cabin for the first time in two and a half years because she took the dogs with her as well. So it's just me. And it's so quiet. Is it, is it okay if I say I like it a bit? I mean, I love you, honey, uh, and the dogs, but this just also reminds me of the time I had here before they moved in. That was such a different time. And now when they're not here, I can truly appreciate like living with them. Because now I remember how boring it was to live here just completely by myself. But I'm gonna enjoy my boys night out. Or lonely man inside, <laughs> perhaps. But I'm gonna sit down in this couch and make a big bowl of popcorn and watch a documentary. And that leads us on to the sponsor of this video, which are my very good friends at Curiosity Stream. And this time we put together a really good deal for you. Curiosity Stream is the world leading documentary streaming subscription platform. They have thousands of high quality documentaries for you to watch. And I want to recommend a specific one for you guys, which is this one. The Kingdom, How Fungi Made Our World. And this is such a cool documentary because it shows how the fungi have created their own entire network in the forest. So everything out here is talking to each other basically. And that just blew my mind. And when you're watching it, I know you're going to appreciate that too. And now over to the deal I talked about. By signing up to Curiosity Stream, you will also get access to a platform called Nebula. Nebula is a platform I've created together with other creators. And on this platform, you get everything ad free. All of my YouTube videos and even my podcast episodes. And this whole talk I'm doing right now, that won't be in the version on Nebula. So by signing up to Curiosity Stream and using the link below, you will get access to all of their documentaries you will get early access to the podcast episode I did with uh, Liana Henningsson. And that is already live on Nebula. You can go listen to it right after this video. And you will get an extended version of this video where I show you how we do laundry here in the cabin without running water. And all of this for only $15 a year. Like a whole year and you get access to all that. Just go to curiositystream.com slash Kalle Flodin or use the link in my description and then use the code Kalle Flodin and you will get access to all of this. And by signing up to this deal, you also directly support me and this channel. And that would really mean a lot to me. Thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to enjoy my popcorn, sit down on the couch and watch my documentary. <laughs> 